We are entering week four of my training plan for the Honolulu Marathon. And this is a real critical point in any training plan for me because this is about the time that I deviate and do my own thing, go off the plan and never come back and return. So, fingers crossed that that will not be the case this time. This week, I'm doing two 30 minute maintenance runs and at the end of the week, a five and a half mile run. So hopefully, I will be a good girl and stay on my plan. This wraps up the final week of our water challenge. And with the temperatures hovering around 80 degrees, you can bet that I drank all my water today. So I would be fully hydrated for our first run of the week. Timer went off. It's downhill from here. Whee! This week I'm taking a different route. I am running along the Centennial Trail that extends from Riverfront Park and that's where I usually run. to carrying the gimbal for the entire length of my run. I'm gonna have to start eating spinach or something because boy, I am gonna have Popeye arms at the end of this training plan. In true Rose fashion, I have deviated from the plan and went an extra 10 minutes. I was supposed to do a 30 minute run and I did 40 minutes. Let's hope this is the only deviation from this plan that I do. And I better stay on plan. Okay everybody, it is way early in the morning, but I wanted to start working out on the exercises that my physical therapist gave me. I went to my first appointment yesterday and I got my instructions. She did think that I might have had some type of bone bruise. I didn't know bones could bruise, but apparently they can. She also noticed that when I ran that I showed signs of maybe weaknesses um, in my hips. So she needs me to start working on strengthening my hips and that will help my knee and my overall running. Helping me doing my stretches, Scout. Oh, it is early. It is June 21st, the first day of summer, and it has rained most of the morning. And now that the sun is trying to come out, it is getting muggy. Perfect running conditions to get me ready for Honolulu. Now, December for Honolulu, the temperatures range around 80 degrees. That's not bad, but it's also the month that they receive most of their rainfall. So humidity is gonna play a big factor in this race. So this summer, I'm gonna to try to do all of my training runs outside, even when it reaches close to 100 degrees. I wanna to try to acclimate my body to the warmer temperatures while running. Now I said try. I do not like running in the hot weather. So how did Honolulu get on my bucket list? <laughs> Time to get run number 11 underway. The Honolulu Marathon is the fourth largest marathon in the United States and there is no time limit and no limit to the number of participants. So you could literally show up at the expo the night before the race and register to run. How crazy is that? And their website says that they will stay open until the last finisher has crossed the finish line and all finishers will receive great shirt and an awesome medal. So, no balloon ladies at this race. Phew! One less thing to think about. Now they don't offer a half
half marathon option. However, there is a 10K race held in conjunction with the start of the marathon and runs the first 10K of the marathon course. Now, I understand that the course is fairly flat with the exception of Diamond Head. And for all of you early morning runners, woohoo, raise your hand, woohoo, right here. The race starts at 5 a.m. Temperatures at that time are around the mid 60s. And by about 10, it's in the low 80s. So that's five hours. It's gonna take me a little longer to run this race than five hours. I'm just hoping the temperatures don't get much higher than 80 degrees. Just saw my first little bit of lightning over there. Great start to the first day of summer. So I better hurry up and wrap this race up. We're about halfway through. Race number 11. It's pretty exciting. There's a lot of traffic. It's starting to get windy. And of course the uh, occasional thunderstorms. I almost don't want to take these walk breaks. I just want to get this run over. I want to outrun the storm. I felt a little sprinkle. So we are 17 minutes into our 30 minute run. I think we can outrun them. So the rain's starting. We got six more minutes. We got this. Well, there you have it. 30 minutes, 30 seconds, three miles. Mother Nature really knows how to ring in the first day of summer. This morning I woke up to flood warnings on the news. Then it was blistering, thunder lightning just started, and the rain is happening again. I can't wait to see what she has in store for us for the rest of summer. Woo, stay tuned. It is crazy chilly for this final run of the week. I tried waiting as long as I can putting off this run, hoping that it would warm up, but I don't see that happening. So my physical therapist has asked me to do some pre-race exercises. So they're going to be my warm up and hopefully they will warm me up. So this is our final run of the week. It is our 12th run of the program and it is a 5.5 mile run. Hopefully in 5.5 miles, I will warm up. Run number 12 is a very familiar one for me because this is the route around my house and it also has two, count them one, two Dutch Brothers. And I'm hoping at mile 5.5, or I guess 5.5, we'll end up at the walk-up window at Dutch Brothers. Woo! Two things I'm still trying to get used to on this running program is holding the gimbal and GoPro for my entire run. It's not heavy, but I'm just not used to carrying something. And if you want to watch an expert at this, his name is Gerald Resnick, and his YouTube channel is called Res Runs. He started using a gimbal because of a visual impairment. You would never know it. Whoops, timer went off. He does the most fantastic videos and race recaps. I'll put a link in the description below. I encourage you to check out his YouTube channel. They're amazing. The second thing I'm having trouble with is this darn interval timer. I'm used to just going out and running. I am noticing a huge difference in the recovery of my injured knee. It doesn't feel as tight and I seem to be able to go a lot longer. It's just a stop and start thing. Ugh, not used to that. But if it helps and if it's gonna make me recover faster, I'm all in. You'll notice 
I try not to look too far forward. I am normally a look down at the road type person to make sure I don't trip on a chuck hole or a pothole. The one time I didn't do that was during a St. Paddy's Day race back in March. Boom, down I went and I am still doing rehab on my knee as a result. Walk break, walk break, walk break topic. I found out two days ago, it is June now, June 23rd, <laughs> that Walt Disney World has opened it up so that you can make hotel reservations pretty much, uh oh, starting to sprinkle. That Walt Disney World has opened up the ability to make hotel reservations in February and April, and that's when I want to do the Princess and Star Wars races. So my question, my dilemma, do I go ahead and make room reservations and hope I get a bid for those two races? Do I get my money back and I cancel? I'm not sure, I've got to look into that. I guess I could always go through a travel agent, but travel agents normally have a bundle with the room, race, and park tickets. Oop, gotta run. So tell me, what do you guys think? What have you done in the past? Do you just hope for the best and make the reservations? Woo! Oh, it's not rained, it's the, it's the sprinkler system. <laughs> what are your suggestions? Should I go for it and hope? Or should I wait and see if I get a bib and then hope the hotels that I want are still available at a decent price? Tell me in the comments below. I'm gonna take a poll, this is a survey. I wanna know what you would do. made it past Safeway. Test number two, achieved. I passed the first Dutch Brothers. Oh my gosh, I can smell fresh donuts coming out of the bakery. Unfair. Okay, first technical difficulty. I made it up the big hill and then my GoPro battery died. So I had to head back home and change batteries. So that's okay. I still have about a mile point two to go. So this will definitely guarantee I'm gonna end up at Dutch Brothers. Walk break topic number two. Now my son is always telling me, mom, don't press on those links on Facebook. Well, of course he told me. And then the day before the link came up, what Disney princess are you? I will never know. So everybody, here's the test. Without pressing that link and taking the test, let's see what Disney princess you are. Now, I do not like mice, so I'm not Cinderella. I do like a good nap. I do like the color pink. And for the most part, I'm normally a very quiet person. You'd never know that on the videos, but I'm normally very shy and quiet. And if you've ever seen Sleeping Beauty, what does she say about three lines during the whole movie? So I'm guessing I'm Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, Boy Rose, whatever you want to call her. That's who I think I am. Who are you? Tell me in the comments below, which Disney princess do you think? But oh my goodness, do not click that link. The world will probably implode if you do. <laughs> Holy Hannah, am I not prepared for this run? My Jaybirds just notified me, charge me, and then died. You know, it's a good thing. I am a determined, strong-willed woman because I'm not gonna let the GoPro battery or the Jaybird batteries stop me from my final run of the week. We are at 4.98. Oh my dear Lord, if the battery on my watch goes out, I am doomed, folks, doomed. We have half a mile to go. Let's crank it out. Oh, oh boy. Good morning. Whew. There we have it, five and a half miles, 56 minutes, average pace, 9.07.
Well done. Whew. I say to myself, pat on the back, well done. 5.5 miles for the final run of the week. Uh, minor difficulties, GoPro battery, Jaybird battery. That's okay, because I see up ahead. I'm looking and I'm not looking at you. I apologize. There is a Dutch Brothers. Let's go, as I say. There it is. I see something caramel and frothy in my future. This is my celebratory, celebratory, <laughs> and it's starting to rain. Oh my goodness. This is my celebratory hydration for completing week four. But not only that, but this is now the completion of one entire month of the training plan. Yay me! I only deviated once and I really don't count that because it was adding an extra 10 minutes onto my run. So I'm thinking that's a good thing. Next week, we start a new challenge. Our water challenge is over. I feel I'm doing great on my hydration. We're starting a new challenge that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Stay tuned. It will be actually a 31 day challenge. July has 31 days. So I thought it appropriate, a 31 day challenge. And we're going to start gathering more information on the Honolulu Marathon. I'm going to go on their website and show you the course, it's elevation, the course support, everything to do with Honolulu Marathon. We're gonna get more in depth. So stay tuned for that. Congratulations if you have made it one entire month with me on the Honolulu training. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you.